for my reflection today, I'm going to talk about journeys. And when you're on a journey, you make choices. Some that you think would be quite small and insignificant, and others that you think would be more important decisions to make. These are small or big choices that have outcomes, and if you didn't make that choice, you wouldn't have the same outcome. Now, even before you get to that, you get to before you go on the journey, things you take with you. Now soon, very soon, I'm going on a camping holiday. And I quite like camping, I really enjoy you know, going on nice little walks, going to country parks and cycling. It's really great, I really enjoy it. And then when you come back from a day of walking or a day of cycling, you're a bit tired and you want to slip into something more comfortable. Now here's my small choice I need to make. Do I? take my sandals with me, or do I take my flip-flops? Both very good shoes, but I can only take one, and that's my one small choice I need to make before I go. Every day we make small choices. We think, what do we have for breakfast? What should we wear today if you're still working? Do we go in the car today, or do I cycle, do I walk, what would be best? Or if you're on holiday, you think, hmm, what should I do today? It's all up to you, you've got to make that choice. Now these small choices that we think about, things for breakfast, what shoes to wear, can be really significant and important later down the line. As we see about this year, a lot has changed. But we're still on our journey with God. God is leading us to where we need to be and helping us to make the right choices. And one of these choices is how can we best be Christians right now? How can we best glorify God even in this very changed situation, this very strange thing we're in? that we're in a pandemic that lasted so long it's affected the whole world, how can we be effective Christians in that? How can we best follow God and love others in a situation like this? And it comes down to just living out our lives as Christians, but just doing it in a different way. There's so many more restrictions now. You can still do the things you liked before, but it's just done differently. So if you are one of those people who likes to visit people and do pastoral care, maybe you have to do it on the phone more now, or use Zoom if they have a computer and see them on a web chat. Or if you're going to go see them in person, you still can, as long as they're not shielding, as long as you keep that distance at two metres. Or nowadays, more restrictions are in place for masks, You've got to wear a big face mask when you go to church now and when you go into um, a bus or a train. It doesn't mean that you can't be the best Christian you can be, be the best person you can be. You just have to do it differently. Think about when you're walking down the street, there's someone coming towards you that's not going to move. You choose to move out of the way. These things, maybe to take a mask with you when you go out. So that if the off chance you think you need to go into a shop later, you've always got one. And by doing that, that's us living out our call as Christians. We are glorifying God by looking out for others, by wearing our masks and keeping our distance. That's us doing a service to all those neighbours that we are called to be nice to and to love, love our neighbours. So although we may have small choices to make, they can be really important to take a mask with us, to keep a distance, but we are doing all of this to glorify God and God is with us always. What an encouragement that God is with us in all our tough situations and the things what we think are insignificant, small choices. God is with us always. I like to end with a Quote from Proverbs. 
Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favour and good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. God bless everyone.